Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to talk about balance on the stool of the drums. I many times receive questions about balance on the drums because um, sometimes it's not so easy to have a good balance when, especially when we play double pedal. And um, I figure out that to be able to play freely either one pedal or double pedal or double bass drum, whatever it is, I had and, and bass drum and so on, we need to have our ankles free. Okay, we need our legs free to play a leg motion. We need our ankles free to play ankle motion. And if we put our weight on our legs, and on our pedal, so leaning in front, that will prevent that. That will prevent us to have uh, uh, free ankles. Okay, if we see the ankles, uh, how we see our wrists, wrists are always free. Okay, we can activate wrists at any time because there's nothing blocking them. Same thing has to happen with our ankles. They have to be free of being activated whenever we need to activate. Especially when we have to play slow stuff or very fast stuff. So for the slow stuff, if we don't um, if we don't have a good balance, what would happen is that we will have to lift very quickly uh, our leg because if not, we would lose balance. We would lose balance on the stool. Instead, if we have our balance leaning in the right way on the, on the seat, we will have all the time to think of uh, lifting, doing the upstroke and then the downstroke. So like one, two, three, four, one, two, up, up, down, two, up, up, down, two. And this benefits um, timing, of course, because I can really feel relaxed to use the leg motion without having hard times. Instead, if I, I play with like this, I would I would feel a different approach. I would be way more nervous, and every time my muscles are in tension, uh, I'm not. You know, I'm not synchronized with the rhythm, and my body is not synchronized to the rhythm of what I'm doing. Okay, in the environment, to be very nervous. Also, the sound will be very choked. Like we can hear this on a, a plastic and and rubber pad. This is a choked sound. This is a open sound. So open. Like I can feel it's everything is different, sounds different, and so it's very important. Of course, then if we need the specific type of sound, um, we have to be able to do both. Okay, but most of the times we don't even think about the sound that we have uh, because we don't really know how to deal with other stuff that don't allow us to think about um, our sound. Um, so, instead in the fast stuff, it's the same thing. I will have to have the freedom of raising the leg and play for maybe one minute, who knows, if I need three minutes without feeling tension. We can literally try this and, and feel the difference. So, for example, we can start playing, leaning, all the, all, uh, putting all our weight in the back using the abs, which is, of course, too much, but at least it gives us an idea, and start feeling how the ankles and our legs are. And then slowly, we can put our weight in front, and we'll feel how the legs start to get tense, because they have to sustain the, the weight of the body and how our ankles and all the the uh, feet playing gets affected by this. So we have to find a way, a balance in between, which doesn't 
um, uses too much our abs and it's not leaning too much in the front on our legs. So we have to make sure that the upper part of our body, it's all going on the seat. All the weight of this part of the body has to go here, always, and never move. And we have to make sure that also when we shift from ankle to leg, this part of the body never uh, changes, never, the, the, the weight never moves from there. Okay, so as you can see, this part of the body doesn't change. My ankles are completely, completely free. I can activate them whenever I want and uh, without any, any problem. So a good exercise to work on balance um, is to, first of all, try and move the balance while we're playing just to have an idea of how different it feels, okay? Uh, finding the right um, height of the, uh, of the stool. If we play too low, if we sit too low, we will have to raise the leg over our the, the hips. So this would um, give us a lot of abs work. If we go in a plus 10 degrees, compared to our hips, we will have to work more with our muscle. Instead, if we have to go from minus 10 to zero, it's easier. It's easier to raise something until here than from here until here, okay? So, same thing happens here. It's easier to raise our leg from minus 10 to zero than from plus 10 to plus 30, okay? On the other side, if we sit too high, then we will never have a good balance. We will have to stay in front of this, to sit in front of the stool, and that won't allow us to have a good balance because uh, we will be all, um, we will lean all, or all our weight in front. Okay, so we have to find a good balance, and the good balance is um, having the foot on the pedal, raising the foot without pressing the beater and having 90 degrees between our the upper part of the body and our leg. This part has to be 90 degrees so that we don't have um, any hard times uh, lifting our legs. Okay, so once we know this, um, a good exercise is to start playing, for example, practicing right foot uh, single strokes at any speed so if you use leg motion ankle techniques whatever it is okay heel down and so on keeping the other leg the other foot raised without pressing the beater still just like that okay so in this moment my balance has to stay on the stool, if not, because I can, I'm not leaning my balance on one side, uh, and so this forces me to keep my balance balance in check. Okay, I make sure that the, that beater doesn't go down, and I'm not leaning in front. I f I make sure I don't feel my abs working too much, but I'm just comfortable staying in a good position. I can change the technique. Swivel, heel down, heel up, heel toe, leg motion, and nothing changes on my left foot. And then I'll do the opposite. So I'll keep my right foot um, and my right leg raised without pressing the beater. And I do the same thing leg motion, heel up, heel down, heel toe, swivel. And I'll make sure that my balance stays here and not on the other foot. Okay, so. Right now, my position is this one, and I don't have stress. As you can see, my legs are very relaxed. My abs are pretty relaxed. I'm not, I'm not completely relaxed, but I'm not stiff. I don't have anything like, if I lean in front and I keep my leg raised, I feel my muscle has, starts to get stiff. Instead, if I find a good position, there's, there's one point where 
our legs are not in tension and our abs are not working too much. And that's the right position for you. And then you have to start working on shifting, various techniques, leg, uh, any technique that you want to use, making sure that this feeling doesn't change, that your legs don't start to get stiff and your abs don't start to get um, to work too much. Same thing happens when we have to turn around on the drums. We have to make sure that we don't follow the stick. Okay, when we play, we don't follow and we don't lean uh, laterally in front while we're um, playing, but that we keep our uh, body and our balance always in check and we just extend our arms to reach whatever surface we have to play. So we have to learn how to set our drums so that we never have to actually move around. So balance really makes a big difference on our playing, on our timing, on our sound. So it's a very important thing. Um, another exercise that we can do uh, to make sure that we don't move the upper part of our body while we move around the set is to just keep our feet, both our feet in this position, so without the beaters touching uh, the pads or the kicks, and uh, playing single stroke rolls or playing stuff around the set um, without ever changing our balance. So in this way we always check that our balance and we get used to control our balance um, and have it always on the stool and it will really make all our playing more relaxed. Uh, I really suggest to do this and to try this, um, to this type of approach. Um, it really helps my playing for speed, for timing, for fast and slow stuff, so it doesn't matter whatever you're playing, balance, it's always uh, affecting our playing. So once you find your the right balance, it really makes uh, the game much easier. So have a good practice and I'll see you next time.